So today I'm going to show you guys what the back end of a 2000 subscriber YouTube channel looks like. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. How's it going runners? My name is Justin Thompson. I'm your average running PT and I help the average runner achieve their own personal elite status. If that's something you guys are into, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you know when the next video comes out. So I'm really excited to report that I just crossed 2,000 subscribers on YouTube and I can only thank you guys so so much for all of your support. All of the comments that you guys leave me are really really encouraging and you ask great questions too. Stuff that actually you know kind of challenges me in my own thinking as well. So rather than just putting content out there that's just for the sake of putting content or for the sake of, for the sake of getting views, I am actually trying to teach you guys and I'm trying to help you guys learn and when you guys ask me questions that gives me good uh, good content ideas and also helps me to really think about what I'm actually doing with my own training as well. So what I want to do right now though is actually jump into the back end of my YouTube YouTube studio to show you guys what a 2000 subscriber YouTube channel actually looks like. Um, I don't really plan on going over any of the income that I receive from that, but I will kind of go over some of the other analytics and things of that sort so that you guys can see, you know, what it's like on, on my end. Okay. So let's go ahead, head over to the computer and we'll jump right into that. All right, guys, here we are in the YouTube Studio dashboard. And when you first come to the YouTube Studio dashboard, basically what you're going to find is some of your latest stuff. So your latest video performance, latest published videos, latest posts, all that kind of stuff. And then just a basic overview of some of your channel analytics, your, your total subscribers, how many subscribers you've had in the last 28 days. The last 28 days is kind of like a default that they like to kind of go to for this. Um, so you can see here uh, the views in the last 28 days, the watch time, the the amount of money that I've made, things of that sort. And then like the top videos over the last 48 hours. That's another default that they like to use is 48 hours. So and then we can jump into the content section here so that you guys can see that I have been consistent. I started this channel in March of 20 20 so not even one year ago so it's been not even 11 months yet and so i have now recorded 111 videos as you can see right down here now i'm going to take this all the way to the end so that you guys can see kind of the um evolution of the channel in terms of like thumbnails so for a while they've been pretty similar but i did make some changes to them since I started. And this is part of the development of a of a YouTube channel. So here's the current look right now. And then prior to that, I was actually, you know, things were a little different, similar, but but not quite the same. And then I had some other stuff and it's just kind of evolved and developed over time. And I go all the way back to my very first videos and this was the one that basically kick-started it all. This is the one that kind of started getting me views and, and eyeballs on the channel. I think a lot of you probably came onto my channel from this video. And as you can see, this was my sixth video. Um, this one's not public because it's just awful. Um, but so it was my fifth public video. Uh, and it was about math training and that's one one of the themes that I've noticed that you guys really love is talking about math training or low heart rate training and you know this one's got 21,000 views at this point which is fantastic I, I'm super happy about that um, so thank you guys for for those of you that came to my channel through this video uh, thank you guys because you guys have helped grow this channel from the very very beginning okay so now just kind of jumping into the overall analytics of this whole thing. So this is the, the overview of it and it shows you how many views you've had and it always uses the 28 days as the default. So 15,000 views almost in the last 28 days. Uh, the watch time, subscribers, and then estimated revenue over that period of time. And 
let me know if you guys want me to make a video about the revenue. It's not something that I planned on doing, but if it's something that you guys are interested in, then okay, I, I will, I will, um, I will do that. But, you know, I just want to kind of show you guys kind of the trends and this kind of give you an idea of what works well. Uh, this was my video recently about the frustrations that I have with math. Uh, with the math training method, and obviously that was a pretty popular video. It gave gave me a pretty big boost on that day. So, and then, you know, with each video that I put out, there's a little bump, a little bump, and then it kind of comes back down. So, that's pretty normal. Um, and then, you know, I kind of go to the reach, who's actually watching this stuff, right? So, you know, how many impressions am I getting? How many people are actually getting eyeballs on this thing? 175,000 in a 28 day period, which is great. Um, never thought that I would have that kind of reach. Um, where is it coming from? External traffic. Uh, it's coming from Google, which I haven't even looked at this in a long time. So that's kind of interesting. Um, which playlists are doing well, like my math method playlist. Obviously, that's a very popular topic on my channel. Um, it's what I've been using a lot recently to to increase my my ability to run with a, a lower heart rate and improve my cardiovascular endurance. Um, so you know, suggested video. These are the videos that being that are being suggested onto other people, and it's kind of showing because these are the ones that people are now coming onto my channel from at this point. Um, Again, math training is a big is a big YouTube search term. Math heart rate, math tone, um, those are those kind of things. So it gives me an idea of what's working and what's not. And then I can come back up here to engagement and see you know specifics about specific videos and, and things of that sort. I don't look at this one a ton. Only thing I really kind of concentrate at all on maybe is you know the average view duration of of the videos i try and you know hopefully i can keep those video the the average view duration of you know above five minutes because youtube likes to see when people are watching it for a long period of time but i have to keep your i have to keep your interest for that amount of time too so it's it's um i can't just make junk and put a long video out there you guys aren't going to watch that so i do try and make this stuff as as good as i possibly can um and then you know top videos this is again over the last 28 days again this one is the one that started it all this is the fifth video i ever put out and it's still my second most uh viewed video over the last 28 days so it's still doing, it's still doing a lot of work for, for the channel and it's bringing in more people and it's, it's exciting. So let me know in the comments below if you came to my channel through this video, um, or if you came through this one or, or which one you came through. So leave me a comment. Let me know. Um, and then, you know, just some other things here. And then who's actually watching this? That's, this is kind of an interesting section here. Um, you know, what are some other channels that people are watching? Of course, people are watching Seth and, and Kofuzi and, um, some of these other guys, Plant Powered Runner does a lot of math stuff. And so when are people watching, you know, people are watching kind of mid morning, at least my time anyway, which is pretty much right after I post my videos. Most of my videos go out at 6 a.m. my time. And then some other videos that people are watching that are also watching my videos. So now who, who all is, you know, what's the watch time coming from? Is it coming from people who are actually subscribed to the channel or is it people that are on, that are not subscribed? So this actually shows that most of the people that watch are not subscribed to the channel. So, you know, if you, if you haven't subscribed yet, then please do subscribe and, and hopefully, uh, you'll get some good, uh, some good out of this, out of this channel. Now, age and gender, obviously this is, uh, quite skewed here. <laughs> uh, 96% male to 4% female. 
for the longest time that was 99 and 1. So I'm actually moving in a decent direction there, but I think the I think the stats actually flesh out so that most of the people on YouTube are male anyway. I think it's like 80 20 males are are 80% are, are generally males that are on YouTube in general for the whole platform, um, and 20% females, so I'm not too weirded out by that. Um, and then, you know, who who's actually watching this stuff? And, you know, for, for me, my goal with this channel is to help you to run and be healthy. Obviously, I'm sitting here with an injury right now, so it's kind of hard for me to say that, but... There's a lot of people that are interested in running and being healthy, and, and obviously this kind of age group is the one that is really interested in that. So I'm not getting a bunch of high schoolers or, or, or young people that are watching my channel. It's people that are my age. And again, I'm 32 years old, so I fall in this, in this group, but, you know, I will soon be here and, and eventually be there. So, you know, it's a really, uh, it's a, it's a pretty good group of people here that I know are looking to run and be healthy while they do it. Now, I'm going to take you guys real quick into the revenue just so that you can see and, you know, what's going on. Obviously, whenever I play a video, do a video like this, it gives me a little bit of a bump in the amount of money that I might make on that day. Um, but this is not extremely important. To, to me right now to show you guys unless you want me to dive a little bit deeper in a different video. So, obviously I can come in and look at the comments. I'm actually all caught up on comments. I've responded to all of them that I want to do. Um, but anyway, that's pretty much the, the, the back end of YouTube and, and the YouTube studio. One of the things that I want to also show real quick are the top videos for this particular period of time, the 28 days. So again, right now, Math vs. Zone 2 video that I did many months ago at this point. This was back in July that I posted this. And then, of course, this one that I posted way back in March. And, you know, this, this took a big jump. And then most of these videos are ones that I recorded a long time ago that are you know, kind of just gaining a little bit of steam right now. And so you can see that a lot of these videos in this 28 day period are, are older. And sometimes it takes a little while for YouTube videos to kind of grab people's attention. Um, many of these, you know, took a jump early, but then they, they slowed down and then they started to kind of pick back up again. Let me show you what happened with this video. This is the one that kind of started the, the channel so that you guys can see if you guys are trying to start your own channel, kind of what could happen with your, with your channel. So, and it's an encouragement to you to, to keep going. So basically what happened was I posted this video way back here in March of, of 2020 and the first day I got 18 views. That's it. So if you're discouraged by the amount of views that you're getting, okay, I, you know, pay attention to what's about to happen though. So as, as this went along, you know, it started gaining a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. And over the first, you know, 20, 30 days, it had a few views. It just kind of gradually bumped its way up. But then something happened at, the 30 day mark where it just started to climb and then it started to just take off. So if you're discouraged by the amount of views that you guys are getting on a video, don't worry <laughs> because, um, if it's a good video and it's well keyworded and things like that, people will find it and people will watch it and it will be, uh, it will be a success. So, um, you know, that's kind of what happened with this video. If I go back to the, to the other one, let's see what this one's doing. I think it had a kind of a similar trend. Yeah. So it, it, it started off pretty good. It had like 500 views in the first day, but then it just kind of was creeping for a little while. And then after about 30 days, 60 days, it started to creep upward again. So it kind of took an upward turn. So if, if you don't have a super successful video right away, 
don't be discouraged because, you know, this is, uh, this can change very, very quickly and then start to make this kind of exponential rise, which is kind of what's happened with my channel. So, so that's all here. Let's go ahead and jump back over to, uh, the talking head. <laughs> So that's it. That's what a 2,000 subscriber YouTube channel looks like. So, hope that you guys like this video. Um, I couldn't really do any running stuff right at the moment because I am kind of injured at the time. But, I will be back shortly. Rehab is going well. But, uh, hope that you guys like this video. Leave me some comments down below. Head on out there. Seek your elite. God bless and I'll see you next time.